Oh my gosh, this just makes my brain feel so jumbled to look at this. Okay, so you guys haven't seen me film at my baby in a while, and it's kind of partially because it's become this disorganized mess. 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 Disorganized m
do you know I will so I will I will talk more about the products in detail in separate videos but I will touch on them as I go along so I'm gonna start with my morning skincare routine oh my god I can't see the forest for the trees right now in the morning I put on first my vitamin C serum I've been using this no BS vitamin C serum from the FabFitFun sale and we're just gonna start loading this up so this can only hold five kilograms with these stickies so I have to be really really mindful about that and then the next thing I do is I put on this is almost out so this will be in an empties video in the nearest future this is the origins ginseng refreshing eye cream to brighten and deep puff it has excellent reviews origins is owned by Estee Lauder so they are not entirely cruelty free origins is cruelty free but Estee Lauder is not that's a start <laughs> we, we made progress right well, I've been using this OC and I'm really liking this. This came in a Pediver box. I am into this. I can't wait to try more products with them. This is kind of hefty. So this is actually... Uh, I mean, they feel... I feel pretty good. And then I like to use this. This is the Bare Republic Mineral Face Sunscreen. I had an interesting experience with this after I used this and this this morning, which I'll talk about more in a product review video. So that is my morning routine for the most part. Sometimes I will do an oil before this. So I'm gonna put this Midnight in Corsica Face Oil. I've talked about this. This is an expensive oil. I'm gonna put this up here. Oh boy. I'm gonna put my Marula facial oil. This is from FabFitFun as well. I'm gonna put that there. Oh, this is really already clearing up so much. This is awesome. Thank you for your suggestions. I love you guys so much. This is my last tub I'm ever going to use about this. I've talked about this before, but I've learned I've learned more and more about ingredients, and this one is loaded with ingredients that could potentially be toxic. It is effective though. If you don't care about that, this stuff is awesome. Self-esteem neck firming lift by Dermalect still so much. Okay, let's look at night routine now. Oh my gosh, this just makes my brain feel so jumbled to look at this. I like to start with this. This is going to be heavy, so it's not going to go in this. So you can't quite see that. You can see the top, actually. It's just going under on the counter. I like to do a serum after that, and this is the Snow Fox Recovery Serum that I've been using. I got this in FabFitFun as well, so we're going to put that up here. This is going to evolve organically. I am almost done with this May, Li May Love Glycolic Night Cream. Or I have my Terra Mare eye cream that I've been using at night. This stuff has been lasting really a really long time. This is Terra Mare as well. Niacinamide and Algae Night Cream. I love it. It's funny. I think it smells super earthy and almost mossy. And my husband smelled it last night for the first time and he said I smell like Fruit Loops. Which I've only eaten Fruit Loops like once or twice in my life. This I haven't reviewed. I will review this. I really like this stuff. This is the Aha a hydration cream mask. It came in the winter fab fit fun. Something I don't like so much at night is this Corez. Uh, this is also a sleep mask. I got this as an extra in the spring box. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this because I don't really use it so much. This might end up getting donated. I'm going to, I'm going to, okay, all right, this is evolving organically. We're doing this. We're doing this. This is going to go into a pile of stuff to consider to be donated. So this is the, again, vitamin C brightening sleeping fa facial by Corez. I will put it aside and then I will do a separate video. Like I said earlier, I will do a separate video where I talk about stuff that I am going to be donating and why I'm donating it. We're going. We're doing stuff. Okay, so in the spirit of that, I'm going to toss this Marula hair mask over into the pile of things I'm probably going to be donating. I am going to toss this uh, Moroccan Gold Series hair mask, not empty, neither was the other hair mask, into the pile of things I'm going to be donating. And I'm going to talk about all of those things and tell you why. I am going, oh, here's an empty, oh, yay, we're doing this, okay. Here's an empty, I love this stuff. I already talked to you guys about this stuff. This is the LMS Peptide 4 Night Recovery Cream Oil. This was heavenly to use. Uh, this is going over here and I will do an empties. Maybe I'll do a video where I talk about empties and things I'm getting rid of. So maybe I'll combine that. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Okay, this is Be Kind Products. This was a sample in my Pediver box. 
I want, I held on to this, this is empty because just like the LMS thing, I wanted to talk to you guys about my final thoughts. Here's another thing I want to talk to you guys about my final thoughts on. This is from a FabFitFun sale. Next for this shelf. So I think this shelf is done. Here's another thing that I'm probably going to donate. This is so silicone heavy, I just don't want it anywhere near my face at night. People love it though, but I will get into that in another video. My husband loves floral scents, and I don't so much. I am more of a musky girl. When I wear perfume, I will use one of these. These are floral. One's gardenia, and one is Leilani. So my husband bought these for me in Hawaii when we were there. You may, If you go to Hawaii often, you've probably seen these. I'm gonna just pop them over here. Another thing my husband likes to do is he does stop by TJ Maxx sometimes. He loves to look at the clearance rack and look for non-toxic, cruelty-free stuff for me. It's so sweet and he found this recently at TJ Maxx for a dollar. And then here's another one. He knows that I was eyeing this. I was eyeing trying this brand, anything from this brand. I see it around all over the place. I want to look into it. I'm going to learn, learn about it. He's so sweet. He he thinks about me all the time. I have some more masks. Of course I do, right? It didn't seem like enough masks. Here's one from Trader Joe's. This is a clay mask from Trader Joe's. This came in a three pack and this one was the one, only one that was good. I, this is the one I hang on, hung on to and it actually works really well. You know, I'm just gonna start doing masks down here as well. So this is the LMS Papaya Enzyme Peel and then I have this LMS Thousand Flower Mask. I had talked about these in a video. Oh, and then this Paula's Choice thing. I don't like this very much, but people love it. And Paula's Choice seems really cool. They have a really robust website with a lot of information on products and ingredients and whatnot that I do uh, reference and learn a lot from. This is a holy grail item, just like the Tula Press Serum that I don't like that everyone loves. Everyone seems to love this. This is the Oribe dry shampoo. I don't know what the heck. Mine, maybe it's faulty. I don't think this works at all. So I'm putting this over into products I'm getting rid of for a future video. Maybe I'll start putting some hair care items. This is decent stuff. It's almost empty. I got this in a fat pit bun sale. Clay dry deodorant. They sponsored me. I did a video. It's Awesome, I still reach for it without thinking twice every day. So I'm gonna put that here, like right at the forefront. Here is my aluminum cancer-causing Alzheimer's inducing one. Maybe I will donate that. This stuff, I'm not ready to get rid of it. I, I love, hate it. I'm gonna put it here. It's Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. I love this hair oil. Oh, Garnier, I've talked about Garnier before. They just seem to get things right. By no means cruelty-free, but I'm gonna put that there. So I'm nursing that, I really like that hair oil. I went, I went cruelty-free like in, I think it was November of 2018. And it's been a significant transition in my life and the way I think this is another Another Garnier product. I like this one too. If you're not cruelty free and you have curly hair and you want something to help in the morning, especially that's how I use this. I just wet my hair the top with a spray bottle and then I run a little bit of that over the top of my hair. I love this stuff. I thought, okay, I'm also gonna have to really, <laughs> this is so messy you guys. I'm really embarrassed. I am really like opening myself up here. Here. This is Living Proof TBD Multitasking Styler. I've talked about that as well. This is another hair oil, DP Hue. This is my least favorite hair oil that I have. Okay, making progress. So I have, I'm gonna show you guys. I have like some really thin patches in my hair right here on either side. Kind of the same place that guys go bald, but I've I've had it for a long time, so I certainly, you can see it's just little baby hairs that come out of it. I don't know why, but I think it's been that way my whole life. I certainly hope so, I hope it's not getting worse. I was looking into ways to promote hair growth, and I purchased this. Unfortunately, I haven't been very consistent with it. I think I need to be more consistent in order to get any results. I'm, I'm probably gonna go on a little journey 
to try to get those areas to grow in more at some point on my channel and we'll see how that goes. A lot of stuff is really fitting here. A lot. This is really clearing up really well. I have, oh, oh, my argon oils. This is Trader Joe's argon oil. It's excellent. So this is more hair care. This is AG fast food leave-in conditioner. It's good stuff. I have another leave-in conditioner. This is Alba leave-in conditioner. They discontinued this line. It was a good line. I was really bummed when they did that. And then that's full. I'm going to start putting taller things underneath. So this is a uh, clean and clear astringent. I just got this before it was cruelty free. Uh, it works really well. And the interesting thing is I like this one better than this expensive Paula's Choice one. This is my holy grail, grail hair care product. I recently discovered it. I've talked about it a few times on my channel so far. I will link a video above me where I talk about it and you can see how it makes my hair look. It is awesome. I do like gels sometimes for my hair. This is kinky curly. This one is okay. Some gold tweezers. My mother gave me their pretty. This is a blend of oils that I made in a Trader Joe's argan oil bottle. It has argan oil, vitamin E, and rosehip oil. I was pregnant and I was going to use it on my stomach through the pregnancy, but that pregnancy wasn't successful. So I will put that aside for when I have a successful pregnancy. So this is my husband's. It's, he loves this stuff when we go to Hawaii. He always wants to buy it. I will put it over here under the shelves. Here's another mask that he bought me at TJ Maxx. He's got it on clearance for $2.50. He's so cute. And I will put that one over here too. I talked about this in a review video already. I am going to try it a couple more times. I will probably end up donating it. This is a cloth from the Fit Fun sale. It was one of those vintage makeup remover, makeup melt white cloths. I bought them. I don't think if you're considering getting them, just get yourself a washcloth. It's a microfiber cloth. I got sucked into it because the packaging was adorable. I keep Vaseline. I rarely use it. It is something that I have thought about incorporating into my nighttime skincare and I'll talk more more about that. I still have yet to do a nighttime skincare routine video where it's all about nighttime skincare. I did one in a collaboration with Moment with Chip. Hi Chip! Check out her channel. Her channel is called Moment with Chip. But I will do a more in-depth nighttime skincare review video and I've thought about incorporating this into my nighttime routine and I will tell you how and why. So I'm going to leave that here. This is also turning into kind of like a shop my stash. Isn't that where people go through the products on their... Oh! On their... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, in their collection and they talk and rediscover products that they're like, oh yeah, hello. So this came in my first Influencer Vox box and I did try it. It's decent. It's de decent stuff. It's a peel mask. Put that up there. I have gotten surveys to be in the Influencer Vox box programs again and I kind of feel like I got one and that, that was all I seemed to need. I'm not as excited anymore about it. Okay, so now I'm getting into my makeup where I really, I know that I need something else. I need another way to store my makeup. So I have these really really beautiful cups. They're from China. They're real. They're real. By real, I mean there's this thing called cloisonne. And I will put a brief article, a link to a brief article about what the heck that is, if you care. These are gorgeous. I have two of them and I've been using them to put my lipsticks in. I think now I need perhaps an acrylic thing with drawers or something like that that you see everywhere. I'm going to head over to Ross and see if I can find something like that. So I am going to take what's in this one out. I should definitely wash this. I will be right back. I wanted to show you the progress shots. So I washed these and I had two of these guys and then this one was just another thing I had gotten at Goodwill for a dollar. It's just China. And I had been using these to store like my lipsticks and whatnot in. All of this stuff I just dumped out of them. That stuff, not all of that stuff fit in the three of them. It used to. It used to and then I awakened this beast after I joined FabFitFun that loves this beauty stuff. So here's what the shelves look like. I might rearrange them a little bit so that they look just more aesthetically nice, like 
<laughs> Ooh, <laughs> my depth perception was way off. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, reorganize them a little bit, but that's what's going on those shelves. I think they should hold. This thing I had gotten at Ross under in like the home office section and I had repurposed it for my vanity and that too used to work, but now I just have so much stuff. This is the Elemis collection bag that came in the FabFitFun sale where I had gotten some of the Elemis stuff that you see over there. And it is just brimming with makeup products that I have acquired thinking that I would like to use them and get ready with me. Anyway, so I washed those three little teacup looking things and I am going to get back to filming more of a declutter. We are making progress. Looks much better. I can't wait to feel like I want to sit here and use it again. So that's now the new Q-tip holder. I think that my husband's going to be quite happy about that. I'm going to put this a little more front and center. Oh, I also have this is what I keep my cotton rounds in. I got this at Goodwill as well and I just thought, oh my gosh, that's so perfect and pretty to put my cotton rounds in. And I will put those together over here. These have just gone into the background for me. I got these for $14 in one of the FabFitFun sales and I did a whole dedicated video. I will put that above me here where I swatched these and I reviewed them. I'm not into them so much. Mostly it's the colors and I'm not much of a lip gloss person so I am going to put this into my probably donate pile. Look at this cute little cruelty free symbol. I've never seen that one before. But you know, companies companies can make it up. They can make one up and then plop it onto their products for sure. Oh, this is from London. Again, this isn't a product review video. This is a declutter organizational video. This video is giving birth to so many videos right now. This came in a cause box. It's an okay mask and I really want to put it up here somewhere. Oh, it fits, it fits. Okay, I have a thought. I also got these at Goodwill. These are like old school, like sipping champagne. I should have washed these too. I'm also dumping this. This has, I had been throwing hair ties into this and we're gonna dump that. I'm gonna go wash these and repurpose them. Okay, so my thoughts to repurpose these, I have a lot of these little sample guys that I don't know what to do with. So for now, I'm gonna use one of these to throw samples in. These are the Gold Faden MD samples. Another one in here, oh, here it is. This is another one, so one's the Detox Hydrating Gel, and one is a Needleless Smoothing Line Concentrate. What is this? Where did I even get this? Oh, I forgot about this. This is like a Shop My Stash. So this is a moisturizing tinted mineral face sunscreen. Green. I got this in Pediver, in a Pediver box. And then this is, huh, this is another little sand. These are the things that really get lost, right? So this is Kvass bron Bronzing Potion. I am really excited about this. So this is gonna be my little like samples receptacle. It's not very big. Here's another sample. Why did I get this one? This must have been on like a Target Target beauty box, which I don't get anymore. That's a surefire way to get too much stuff. And oh, forgive my nails. I need to do my nails. Yeah, so that's a primer, eyelash primer for before putting on. This is a chemical sunscreen that's going in a donate pile. I'll probably find more things to add to that as I go. What is this? Oh, wow. So I tried mint but mongoose for a month and this was I, I got one box and I canceled it I don't need to get like costume jewelry that frequently. I actually I don't think it's a bad subscription box But I just it's just definitely not for me. They've just been sitting here So we're going to add this to my jewelry box. I did not like the earrings the earrings were very ow my husband was right. He told me that I would be hitting that, but that would, I would have hit that even if it was. I'm also kind of sitting scooted over so you guys can see me. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. This was hiding, this is a toner I got from Pediver. I feel like this smells like tortillas. Tortillas are not a bad smell. I am inclined to get rid of this one. I'm gonna toss that over in the get rid of pile. This is my holy grail. 
Holy Grail mascara. I love this mascara. I'm getting rid of this. I'm gonna donate that. I don't like this. My sister-in-law gave this to me to use to try. I was asking her what she uses in her hair. She has somewhat similar hair to mine, and she said she really likes this stuff. I find it very suffocating to use. It's a thermal shine spray with argan oil, and it is a heat protectant, and she likes it. She likes it a lot. I found it so suffocating, and the whole day I felt like I could smell it. I don't know if it was just kind of in my nose or what. I did not enjoy using it. And I've been meaning to give it back to her, but I feel a little bit rude. Like, here's this thing you so generously and whimsically gave to me, and I don't like it. Take it back. I don't know what to do about that. I'm kind of close to her. I haven't known her for very long. I like her a lot. I adore her, but we haven't bonded like that yet. I don't like it. I'm going to put it over with the stuff that I'm getting rid of, will no longer be using, and I need to deal with that. That's going to be a separate video in itself. This came in a pet of her box. It's a one sheet, kind of like a bath towel at you. It's a big shower sheet. I forgot about this. Tula. I got this in one of the Fabfit Fun sales. I'll just tuck it right there and I'll use it one of these days. So this is Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. Cleanser. This is like what grandma used to use to get your makeup off. It's got parabens in it, you guys. Oh, and a formaldehyde releaser. I've learned more about ingredients, so I can look at this and tell you it also has a formaldehyde releaser, which I didn't know before. And it's got fragrance. So this does not have the best ingredients. I watched Tati's video with Jessica Alba recently and apparently the Honest makeup wipes are really popular and and awesome. I think I'm gonna donate this. I haven't used it in a long time to get my makeup off. I used to use it all the time to get my mascara off. It's got ingredients in it that aren't the best. Going over here. Maybelline, so this was before I went cruelty free. Maybelline discontinued my former holy grail long lasting lip color, which is this one in one move mauve and they did a whole rebranding this is when matte lipsticks like hit the scene and I bought a couple of theirs I don't like these so much I am going to put them over here to be gotten rid of again I will do a video about that so don't worry I will show you how they apply and why I don't like them so much oh I'm getting tired I need to use this again this is diva curl styling cream and then this is, this is their Defining gel. So far, my first impressions that they're decent. I wasn't blown away, um, but I need to use them again. I haven't talked about them because I don't have what I feel like is a solid review for you guys yet on those. I'm gonna stick those over there and do that at some point. I have some other natural deodorants. I sh I do I should do a natural deodorant review video. I did that sponsored one, and this really is the one that I've been reaching for. I have used these three, um, and I will tell you what I. I think of these guys in a review video as well. I'll put them over here and use them down the road. This is a face wash. It leaked on me, but I don't know whose fault that was, if it was the packaging or my fault. It's okay, and I, um, I'm i gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it, and I'm gonna finish using it. I tend to travel with it. I'm gonna just put it over here, I suppose. This is the Kula sunscreen. The, this hit the scene, and people were going nuts over it. It's a chemical sunscreen, though. And I, I, it's okay. I also, I think I didn't, this isn't a product review video. I keep on forgetting and wanting to tell you about all these products. It also smells like sunscreen. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it. This stuff's awesome and it's, um... <laughs> random, but I love it, and I will put it in a product review video at some point. I got this at the 99 cent store. It's soybean oil, vitamin E, and coconut oil, so it's a blend. Uh, it's still pretty crowded. So this is not your mother's texturizing spray. I got this in my Influencer Best of 2018 box. This isn't a product review video, but I'm not that big of a fan of texturizing sprays in my hair, even when I straighten it. So I'm gonna put this over in the probably get rid of pile. Oh, this is rose hip seed oil. It's a very good oil to help minimize scarring. Scarring is genetic though, but it, I think it does help a little bit. Hopefully we can help it, right? I'm starting to just feel like I need to go to Ross and get something for all of these lipsticks and things because I have really no way right now of storing these. Yeah. Okay, so I found some more little easily losable samplers. So these two are from 
Loli. Hi, Cami. Cami, if you're watching this, these are the ones that we got. So these are from Loli, L-O-L-I. One is a plum oil, and I forget what the other one is, but you can get, at least when I did this, these would, they would, they do samples. I paid five bucks to get uh, these two little samples. These are going in my little uh, sampler suppository, and then uh, I am nursing this as much as I can. This is the La, La Prunier oil. It's plum oil. It smells and feels like heaven. This retails for about $70, $72 I think, and that came in a pet over box too. This one retails for $20. If you buy one that's like this size, it retails for like 70 bucks. I need more organizational tools. So I think that what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be video number one where I have gotten my skincare and hair care mostly together and then the next part is makeup. It's not evenly divided. There's still some hair care stuff that I'm seeing over here. I will get the camera up. It doesn't look much different than I just showed you guys, but I will show you where it is now again once more. And then the next video will be where I tackle, well the rest, where I tackle the rest, which is my makeup mostly. As I pointed out, that's a bunch of makeup. There's still some hair care stuff here. That's all really makeup. And then that's how this area is looking. So if we just, I'm gonna make a little dividing line. Okay, so this is the stuff that I've gone through right here. And then these are the shelves. That is so much stuff. And then this is the rest of stuff that I have to go through. I really did put a dent. And as I go through this stuff, I'm sure I can find ways to organize that stuff a little bit more. I'm not very happy with how that corner is looking right now. I thought that I was going to eliminate the use of this thing, but I think I'm gonna put some of those in here and then keep that over in this corner still. So I'm going to take this, put it here. Here, there. We'll see how this works out. So yeah, you guys, that's part one of the video. Stay tuned to see me organize the rest, and then I will. That will be part two, probably. And then part three will be me going through the stuff that I said I'm going to be purging and talking about why and making a final decision on stuff. Some stuff that I'm not really sure that I'm going to be getting rid of. Again, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Say hello below. Introduce yourself. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you later. Bye.